Plotly is a brand new tool that I've just discovered. Um, it's only been on the market for a couple months and it's growing every day. They don't have many relationships with universities yet and so we've just begun a pilot collaboration with these guys. We're gonna be evaluating their program this semester. So I'd like you guys to all check this out. It's a wonderful tool. It's a browser-based collaborative graphing tool. So we can, you can use it for your own independent work. We can use it for lab-based stuff, small groups, whatever. So I think it has a lot of promise and I'm, I'm quite excited about it. The general site is uh, plot.ly. And if, if you want to just go check it out, I suppose you could. But we've now set up our own, uh, actually Plotly for us uh, has kindly set up um, a demonstration site for us. And so what I'd like you guys to do is to use the lower address here, the HTTPS uh, CSUCI.plot.ly. And you want to go there. When you do go there, you'll see something that looks like this. Now, I'm already signed in, but the first thing you're going to want to do is sign up. It's free. You're going to give your contact info and, and all this and that, your email address, etc. Sign up. Wait a few seconds. Uh, you'll get a confirmation email from Plotly. Just click on the link and you'll be, you'll be good to go. Now, this works across platforms. doesn't matter if you're on an old computer, new computer, in the GIS lab, at home. What, what have you it should also work on tablets I haven't I haven't tried it very well on on some of our tablets or iPads or things but um, because it's browser based it should work on just about everything uh, so let's take a quick look right right here <clears throat> so I'm signed in so it, it says that that I'm here uh, again plotly is a new program so they're they're still rolling out new functionality almost every week so so as the semester goes on I'm sure we're going to be getting new uh, tools and new new fun things to play with uh, basically, um, I just want to point out a couple things here. We probably won't be doing stuff with API. Uh, if you're a MATLAB user, if you're an R user, what have you, you can actually suck data in from those more sophisticated uh, graphing and analysis programs and or push the resulting graphs uh, into, into those tools. Um, I'll first just flag right here to learn. If we click on learn, it's going to take us to um, a bunch of great stuff, how to get started. And then really importantly for you guys, how to do a best fit line, how to do a bar chart, all this kind of stuff. If we click on whatever the heck it is, it's going to take us to a PDF or, or a browser based document. And it's going to list for us um, uh, how to do this. And it's in a step by step uh, way. It has graphics. Uh, they're all it's all web based. So it's interactive. As we go through stuff, it's going to go through step by step. So it's great. Very, I found the documents really helpful as I've um, just begun playing around with this. Uh, quite useful. Mostly we're going to be in the workspace. And so here's a couple uh, demonstration things I've already done. Now, once you guys have, have gotten on board and have, have logged in, I'll be able to create, or and you'll be able to create groups. So if you want to do some graphing with your colleagues, if we want to do something in the class, we can all join in and see it. Right now, since nobody's nobody else is on Plotly, I can't demonstrate that aspect. But basically what we have here is we have a host of graphical uh, presentations and actual data. So for example, if you look at our data, you'll notice that it's, it's, basically, spread, it's basically an Excel spreadsheet. You're welcome to either type in data directly or by clicking this guy, you can import uh, just about any type of file, um, comma separated, uh, uh, Excel, what have you, and suck this data into here. Once, once we know what kind of graph we're going to use, by saying something like, um, uh, I want to make a, uh, let's say, bubble plot, you'll notice that my options are going to change. I'm going to go through here, click these things that I want to uh, uh, have flagged and I want this to be my X, I want this to be my Y. No, I think I want, let's do, um, let's do, what should we do? Let's do sand versus, um, I don't know, a total cu sea cucumber abundance um, from some of our stuff in, in the cooks. I, I click these things. Again, there, there's all kinds of ways we can do this and, and add fancy things, hit plot and boom, there we go, we have a plot. All of these things, the titles, the size, the background, whatever, are all changeable, are all, confirm, are all um, conformable. Once you get it in a shape, either your data 
and or your graph in a shape that that you know your first draft you can go ahead and begin sharing it with people you can make this either private meaning um, only you can see it or only the folks in your groups can see it or you can make it public wherein anybody could actually link to this document and um, and, and this is a link to share it let's see what this graph is that I made okay so in this case this is uh, sea cucumber density as we go from near to the beach far away to far away now I can port this out as a PDF if we want to stick it in a PowerPoint or you want to stick it in a lab write-up or something of that nature but notice as it stands here on online um, it's interactive and so people get you but and again this is all tailorable we can add additional information we could have obviously in this case sunny beach is saying we had 2.4 um, holothurians per meter squared per transect on average uh, and then it's telling us the site the site is uh, sunny beach but we could have all kinds of additional information if we wanted to have a pop-up with this so it's, it's a wonderful tool i think it's going to be a lot of fun so please sign up get an account going and uh, once we are, we'll, we'll, we'll do a couple simple things to have you guys begin to get familiar with this program. So welcome to Plotly. Have fun and, uh, and, and start knocking around. Look at some of these, these cool graphics you can make and, and start trying to make a few things. And we're going to learn this tool together this semester. And I'm really excited for this. So uh, get on Plotly.